So hello and welcome back to Test Drive Thursday. Today we take a look at this Renault Magnum Integral. So let's get started by taking a look at all of the customization. Okay then, so here we are inside the truck configurator. So starting off with cabins. Um, we've only got this uh, star cabin here. I, I do believe with the Renault Magnums you can't really configure the cabin um, too much. Um, it's just this sort of classic design. A lot of people think it's ugly but... I think it looks kind of cool. It's very different to um, any other truck on the road. Chassis, you can only get a 4x2. Engines, there's a fair range here. It's quite a narrow power band. So starting off with a 390 with 2,100 Nm of torque. And it goes all the way up to a 560 um, with 2,450 Nm of torque. Interestingly... Um, this one here, the MIDR, the top spec of that, uh, only has 30 newton meters less. Now this is a V8 here, which uh, sounds interesting. <laughs> I'm not sure if the engine audio is going to be different, but I'm definitely going to go for the Mac V8 today, I think. Um, transmissions, we've got two 12 speeds, one with or without retarders, and then we've got 16 speed ZF, uh, also with a retarder. Interior, you can't do anything to in terms of sort of colours or themes or anything, but it is fairly detailed, so that's not too bad. I'd rather have a detailed cabin than a, a low textured one that you can change the colours on. You see what I mean? Um, loads of sort of pre um, sort of configured colours here. We've got Prussian blue. Reminds, reminds me of Bob Ross. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like you can get a custom metallic. You can get a custom colour, but not metallic, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, but anyway, loads of different options here. So starting off at the bottom, uh, you got some fog lights, which is cool. You've got some hella fog lights, or Sibby headlight uh, fog lights, which isn't really nice. Um, got the Mirage and lower grill guards at the bottom, which I don't think suit it. Uh, you can paint this section down here, or leave it plastic. Leave it up, uh, TIR plate. Uh, ball bar, which definitely does not work on this truck. Um, you can, oh, that's at the back. I'll leave that for now. Uh, there's a dot there. So you can paint that or leave it plastic again. Around the side, we've got some added lights where you can put all your little accessory lights on there. Then you've got the warning flags. Up here, we have got uh, some logos, so you can have Mac written on there if you wish. Um, you got Magnum, all different colours. Uh, you got Renault Magnum, <laughs> Mag Renault with flames. Um, or Renault, that's really smart actually, I do like that. Uh, along here, we have got an oversized load banner, which actually fits pretty well into that little uh, design piece here. Uh, around here we've got that's on the inside uh, you got the mirrors you can have them with or without this light here as you can see and you can have chrome paint or plastic uh, those are blinds for the inside I believe now this mirror here is a feature I really like about Renault's uh, but I'll talk about that later I'll leave that for the driving uh, segment uh, but you can't have that mirror though if you go for this uh, which is a bit of a shame so I'll probably go for that because I really do like that mirror there um, up here we have got some beacons on either side um, we then got a ball bar, not ball bar sorry, a light bar uh, where you can put your lights on the top obviously um, we then got a larger beacon, yeah, larger beacon there with Renault written on it and you can also change the interior light. Uh, we've also got a spoiler as well if you need it for taking different um, dimensions of trailers. Uh, that's the flag. And then get Magnum written down there if you want, or Renault, or whatever you wish. Down the side, we've got obviously the wheels and tyres. Uh, left exhaust, can't do anything with. Uh, you can put painted side panels on, change the different colours of the tank, so you go steel, red or chrome. 
and then I believe there isn't any options around the back so if we if we move on to the inside um, what can we do so we're gonna have to add a sat nav uh, so you got two types there we can put some on here as well uh, that is a detector Pres presume that's radar detector uh, oh a little mirror there that is cool you don't see that very often that's actually quite useful um, we have then got all the sort of options here if you have the blinds you don't get uh, well curtains really you don't get um, sight on that mirror which is a bit annoying uh, you then got all the decorative things and air fresheners that you can wish to put on so now we're going to customize this truck to my spec and I'll meet you outside once I've done so okay then so here we are all fully configured now one thing I've noticed straight away is just how reflected this is I don't know if that's some kind of bug but it does seem a little bit too sort of shiny if you ask me that could be the game also um, I'm not running DX11 by the way I just run it on standard whilst I'm testing these mods um, but I do like the lighting down the side you do get the reflections off those amber lights that's kind of cool how they're embedded into them and from the side well from the front view you can't see them at all um, got the magnum down the side as well I did go with the V8 uh, and also the 12 speed uh, if I did I, I didn't remember to put it into manual mode uh, but oh well, we'll go for automatic for now. Just turn it on. Oh. Doesn't sound how I was expecting it to uh, for a V8. Sounds like a six cylinder, maybe. Yeah, it's kind of odd. What's this guy doing? So if I floor it now, obviously I'm in auto, so the gearbox is going to be playing about a bit, but it's getting up to speed okay. We're doing 30 kilometers an hour now, 40, 50, uphill as well, which doesn't help, obviously. Uh, this trailer isn't too heavy, 22 tons. Uh, so it's about average really I do like the colour there that I've gone for I think it was called wine the colour so yeah it's like an off red type of colour almost faded red now as I said I really do like having that mirror up there because with most um, front mirrors you don't get to see well, you have to always look across and you don't get great visibility from them when they're all the way over to the other side but with it in the middle it's right in your eye line and you don't have to keep looking across which is really useful if you don't have track AR as well uh, but anyway we're turning off I've also just noticed that the uh, front mirror there is not optimized correctly must be for people playing on a wider field of view or something uh, but yeah that's not correct but it is useful when it's working look I actually really like that only a single mirror on this side I'm not sure if it's law now for all trucks to have a uh, sort of normal angle mirror and then a wide angle on the top I'm not too sure um, but we're not too far away now from the drop-off right then so just need to hang a right here so we got how many mirrors have we got so we got five mirrors it's not that impressive really if we had um, that double one on the left then it'd be six obviously which then would be quite a few mirrors but five's normal but it's the sort of placement of the mirrors that's kind of unique with this thing uh, I haven't talked about the interior much uh, we've got this little display here which is borrowed straight from a more modern Renault uh, the dials here are really um, sort of high quality to be honest and I kind of like them the steering wheels nice the textures on it are pretty good um, and in general the interior is pretty good as well fairly good visibility um, doesn't feel too big to be honest 
And it feels quite wide, but you feel quite low to the ground, which I kind of like. Uh, indicators, well, the in indicator isn't making any noise, which is a bit strange. Um, but yeah, would I recommend you downloading this mod? Uh, yeah, I probably would. Um, just some things that probably need some work. As I said, that mirror, I probably just wouldn't stick it on if it isn't working properly. Um, but other than that, and the indicator as well, but other than that, um, yeah, it's a really good mod. Especially if you like your Renaults, which I know a lot of people don't like Renault trucks. Because of a certain uh, YouTuber, but um, yeah, I do. So, yeah, I definitely think it's worth a look. Right, are we going to get it round here? It's a good test of the... Uh, Maneuverability of this. Come on, steer. Are we going to make it round? Oh, no. Yeah, you see, now that looks. It doesn't look that close from inside the cabin. It was only the sun visor we hit anyway. Sure, it'll be fine. Oh, we got a uh, rear steering trailer as well, which is useful. Hopefully we can straighten that up. No, maybe not. Let's try it again. Let's go back and then forward. There we go. Okay, so parking brake on and engine off so hopefully you enjoyed that video if you did please do give me a like subscribe for more and hopefully i'll see you again soon goodbye